Hello everyone, Rest of Aquarimax Pets here with these Armadillidium vulgare albinos. Two different types. We're going to talk a little bit about the types and how they differ. They're both known as albinos, but as you can see, they visually differ quite a bit. There's the T+, plus. the T is short for tyrosinase, and the T-, minus, also short for tyrosinase, but in the T positive, tyrosinase is present, and as you can see, these isopods have more pigment. They are darker. They have sort of a caramely look to it, as uh, I've heard it described. Their eyes are dark, and as they get older, they seem to get darker. You can see the smaller individuals in there uh, don't have quite as much dark pigment as the older ones. Tyrosinase is involved in the production of melanin, and when it is present, apparently it allows more pigment to form, and that is especially apparent as the isopods age. In the tyrosinase negative individuals, you can see that they are much lighter in color. The dark lines you see down the center of the isopod is not pigment, but it is you seeing into the inner workings of the isopod, so to speak, and that's why you see that. That doesn't have anything to do with pigment production in the isopod itself. So they do have a much lighter uh, coloration, and that persists throughout their lives. As you can see, there's some larger specimens here that are comparable in size to the dark, darker individuals in the tyrosinase um, positive line. Even those are much lighter than the uh, wild types, of course. So if you were to cross these, you would end up getting individuals in the first generation that looked like wild types, but they would be heterozygous for both traits, and if you were to cross them again, you would get some individuals that look like the uh, T-positives and some that look like the T-negatives. So that is a very simple explanation for what tyrosinase uh, positive and tyrosinase negatives um, are in the hobby with regard to Armadillium vulgare. I hope that helps clear up the confusion. You find uh, the T positives maybe a little bit more commonly in the hobby than the T negatives, but they, they are both available. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments, and thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.